Mr. Speaker, I wanted to take a, a moment tonight to share with people across America uh, a little bit about the life of an extraordinary person from my district, uh, Bob Wren. There are so many things I could say about Bob. He was a great friend of mine. He had the best sense of humor. Uh, he was an extraordinary leader, and he was just a great man. In the world of politics, you will not find a better man. He was just so clearly in it for the right reasons. Uh, he believed in this country. He wanted to do everything that he could to make his community, Nevada County, uh, a better place. There are so many things I could tell you about Bob, but whatever I might say would actually pale in comparison uh, to a beautiful tribute that was prepared by uh, his wife, Cindy, uh, as well as his uh, friend and associate and, and successor, uh, Mac Young. Cindy uh, is a wonderful, wonderful woman uh, who was always by Bob's side at events. They were truly uh, a team. Uh, and Mac worked uh, very closely on him with everything he did in Nevada County and is now uh, doing a tremendous job of filling his, his very, very big shoes uh, as the head of the Nevada County uh, Republican Party. Uh, this is the tribute that was prepared uh, by Cindy and Mac. Robert Ralph Wren was an outstanding citizen who dedicated his life to making a positive difference in the world. A loving husband of 50 years and father of two sons, he was a beacon of light for his family and community. Born in Chrisholm, northern Minnesota on September 19, 1948, and he passed away peacefully from multiple strokes on September 26, 2023. Bob had a way of seeing the goodness and the potential in people. Even when facing adversity, Bob gained respect from others for his fair and calm manner. He was a mentor and guidance counselor to many. He approached life with his dry sense of humor, kindness, determination, and forward thinking. Bob gained more than 50, 40 years of experience in the electric power generation field. He combined his technical expertise as a mechanical engineer and legal knowledge with his law degree to work as a project development manager for Bechtel Enterprises Incorporated. He focused on the development, uh, the development, construction, ownership, and operation of electric generation facilities. He traveled worldwide to develop projects in Japan, New Zealand, Brazil, Mexico, Canada, and across the United States. Bob joined international generating company, Intergen, as vice president in 1999 and opened an office in Sacramento in 2001 to respond to the California energy crisis and develop new power projects. His two notable natural gas projects that he legislated and oversaw the development of are now bringing power to citizens through Roseville Electric and the Ocotillo plant in Palm Springs. In 2002, Bob became an independent consultant through his company, Vista Enterprises, and brought his expertise to advise solar energy companies such as Nextlight and 8-Minute Energy. That's the amount of time it takes uh, to receive energy from the sun. He retired from the energy consulting business in 2016 to de dedicate his time to his family, hobbies, and traveling to favorite destinations in the U.S. and abroad. Bob loved gardening and was known for growing an abundance of large, luscious tomatoes. He would plant up to 98 plants in raised beds, creating a tomato forest. When his wife objected after processing them, he said, okay, I only planted 49 this year. Bob was passionate about making his award-winning wines that he distributed and enjoyed with family and friends, and having ha sampled uh, some myself, I can tell you uh, they're truly outstanding. In 2017, Bob was elected chair of the Nevada County Republican Party. He dedicated over six years to growing the party into what it is today. He recruited candidates for local county offices and supported their efforts to win. He led fundraising events by organizing and presenting dinners and other events to establish the largest reserve fund in our local party's history. He recruited volunteers to help at events, established a Republican headquarters, and managed the daily activities, meetings, and issues of the party. Bob was good at managing people, keeping calm and order even when debates became heated. He could subdue controversy and disputes and recognize the innate good in people. Bob used his practical experience in negotiations with both friends and adversaries to advance the prospects for Republican candidates and issues. His colleagues at the Nevada County Republican Party knew Bob as a thoughtful and reasoned leader who carefully weighed the ramifications of each decision. He applied his engineering mindset in planning large and impactful projects. His technological mind understood the value of digital campaigning for the 21st century. 
He was a key figure in several statewide initiatives that fundamentally changed the political dynamic in California. Bob left a legacy that made a positive difference in many, many lives and on our entire community. His presence is greatly missed and his legacy will be felt for a long, long time to come.